Shout out Corner Time. So I'd like to say thank you to Miss Ter Karin Mustafa. Thank you for the comment. Miss Helen Tat. Thank you for the comment. Joshua Marcine. Thank you for the comment, bro. Mr. Moscow Jr. Thanks for the comment. Mr. Leo Lash MLBB. Thank you for the comment. Appreciate you. Omar Ben Sasi, our new commenter. Thanks for the comment. Dairush Nadrasta. Thanks for the comment. And Beauty friend UIU, thanks for the comment. So I've noticed that 70% has not yet subscribed. Please subscribe to my channel um, and help out this small YouTuber make it big. Like, comment, and hit the bell for further notification. So just to start up, there's no imprint stone that was used in this run. So let's start the game. Hi guys, it's 2300 Gaming again. So let's proceed with the tips so i'll be fighting the immortal victor using takuma so i've heard great things about takuma because his leadership increases two percent on each attack on each basic attack so i'm just equipping him with this uh, ryugo set to make him uh, survive more and with high cp as well hopefully he survives this uh, match but i think his he will shine if you make him like a tier three so let's see let's see I'm just gonna equip the Iori card on option card to increase damage on him so my first team is Takuma Gintoki and Gonitz so I'm I'm on auto I'm not gonna use anybody so I'm just gonna use Gonitz because Gonitz has a fast 3 PG and a long 3 uh, main super so I'm just gonna use this long super first and then spam his uh, basic attack again so I'm gonna be explaining what what card sets did I put on these characters at the end of the in the middle of the video after this okay so Gintoki thankfully I had his 3 tier card so you just leave Gintoki and then just spam your skills Takuma will do also the rest you just leave Takuma there my your if you have gone it's good for you so that's what I do I just spam I just use Gonis. I don't swap anybody because they're for me Gonitz is the one uh, doing the the damage and Gintoki also does the damage and the thing is like he's the one stalling stalling the super to get longer so just look at this it's not that f like uh... so if you like they gain um, they gain uh, power charge real fast because of Takuma's uh, leadership skill just just look at this like it's like a normal fight at the moment so yeah just fight him spam your skills with gonits it's just like a regular pg gain now even with the negative disadvantage of uh, decreased pg gain as per the immortal victor that's his uh, requirement so it he decreases the pg gain so you need um his weak against bleed so if he bleeds he takes more damage and he get, if he gets critical hit he gets more damage as well so that's why you need but the problem is he decreases your pg gain very very high he he really slows down your pg gain so what you need to do is you need to put pg gain characters and pg gain cards and you need to put bleed characters with critical as well so gonitz has both he has critical and he has bleed gintoki he, al he also has critical and he also has bleed plus in his super he also has a core effect that casts the bleed as well so he's really good in this match he also has survivability because of his first skill so you just don't mind uh, yeah this one is a long super thankfully he've cast that five tier five tier super of takuma so initially my f my uh, first run on this was 100 million I, uh, I'm just gonna see if this one is working Takuma would be because I've heard a lot of things that like Takuma can be viable in this immortal victor dungeon so just imagine he's just a bronze character <laughs> so technically he's the most important bronze character other than Andy Bogart the blue Andy Bogart for Saishu so I think I've uh, yeah I found the two most important bronze character in the game so which is like Andy and Takuma the green Takuma okay so see even if I don't control uh, 
Gintoki, he still casts his uh, 3PG. But you need to spam Gonit so that he can cast that 3PG. This is high input damage but it's quick. And then spam again. The PG gain is really fast here. Look at this. Uh, okay, so I'm, ha I'm having the another super again. So some of them, some of the players, they don't usually put uh, the 3PG card of Gonit's in this uh, dungeon because his uh, super is really f really fast but like if you have the speed pg gain you can swap them over so that's finish up the run there so on my second team on my second team i use uh, ash so as you can see ash is not awakened and is only level 85 and he's his i'm looking for his uh, pg gain because all green characters he increases 20 percent pg gain and increases damage so that's Ash's leadership skill. That's why it's there. And Katsura, thankfully, he has a long animation. That's why I put her, him there. Plus he has burn damage as well. And he also, like, and then I put Edelheid. He doesn't have, like, a PG gain on his course. But, like, he has criticals on his course. So that's why I put him there. So he has also da high damage output. So, yeah, I'm only using Edelheid here because, like, he gains PG really slowly. That's why I'm using him here. So hopefully, see just imagine, I don't have a Tekken set, um, I, I'm using a bronze character and I'm not using any bleed on the second. So just imagine, we'll see if I'll uh, be getting more than 100 million damage here. More than 100 million I'll be happy because of the, my setup here. I think I'm doing it the correct way. I just need to tweak tweak my card set and level up Ash and awaken him. So nobody's awakened tier 3 here. Only awakened tier 2 is uh, Gonis and Gintoki but they're not max awakened yet. They're not um, level 20 in tier 2 yet. So and Katsura is just awakened level 1 as well. Everybody's awakened except Ash. So just imagine. So I've already got, got Oh wow, I've already, yeah, nice. Yeah, I got 100, 136 million damage. That's good. It's a good uh, run for me. So, whoever has like, who doesn't have Tekken set, just like me, I don't have a Tekken set. Um, I think the best card here for Gintoki and Gonitz would, would be the Mad Tea Party set. Because of the critical hits, he will give 8% critical and, be, uh, and increase attack. So, this is Takuma. So I've just equipped him with your cards here to increase damage and he's wearing a Ryugo set. So as you can see it's 136 million now. So that's his 5 PG card. It's not yet upgraded. See the CP, I need to upgrade this one to increase more CP. So just imagine, I can dish out more damage with him in if I max his card. So I'm gonna be doing that later on because I'm really full at the cards. I can't really upgrade it now. So I need to sort out my card card deck now. And Gonitz is using the Mad Tea Party set with the, the Elephant. This is the collaboration card which increases damage if for Bleed and Poison. That's really a good card for him. And the Mad Tea Party set which increases the critical rate and increases damage when you hit within a critical hit. And Gintoki is just wearing the Noah set but I have another... Uh, Mad P party set in the works and I put the, the Andy Bogart card there. Thankfully I got this one when I pulled 4 cards. So increases bleed damage as well. So see Ash. Ash doesn't have really anything. I just put like a Kaya set and this one is the collaboration from the Gintama. It increases the the power gain when you're landing an active skill. And this one, the chocolate one, it's a long time collab. It increases the power charge when you're doing just basic attack because Edelheid has low has no power charge in his uh, core effect so I'm using that and I'm using this one see it's still the same the collab card for the Gintama just to increase the 2.3% power gain upon landing a uh, active skill because like uh, Katsura's uh, skills are very fast so that's why I'm using it here so just imagine I can still put improvements here. All of their uh, super cards, your special cards, are not fully maxed. They're level 30, but 
the skill level is just le skill level 1. So if I put them on skill level 10, that would be increasing their damage. And if I awaken Ash, it's gonna be increasing another damage. And if I made another, see this one, I have like almost three sets of the Mad Tea Party. I'm gonna build this one, it's already in the works. So I'm gonna put that one in Gintoki. So now I'm just gonna be posting another run maybe the next week to see if I can uh, manage to overcome the 132 million damage hopefully I can reach 200 million with this setup so let us just change Robert to Takuma just for just for her visuals let us change him so that's my that's what I do you put option cards which increases like uh, power charge either active skill or basic attack but I'd rather you put the basic attack because usually if the PG is really slow you need the basic attack you're gonna be only using the basic attack to to give damage to the character uh, to to the boss so yeah so the chocolate would be good the chocolate card option card would be good and then the Okyo card from the the samurai showdown card or there's a Geese Howard card that you can get also. It increases the um, power gain while you do basic attacks. So that is Takuma there. So I have 1816 crystals. Why well, might as well summon. <laughs> Let us summon summon summon. Let us summon these crystals. Might might be. I'm still lucky. Let's see. Okay, let's start. So that's gonna be three card pools. So let's do this, guys. So again, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you're learning, um, learning in this channel and enjoying. Um, this is 2300 gaming again. I post KOF content, and if you like my channel, please like, leave us a comment, and subscribe on that uh, subscribe red button there, and then click that notification. I post KOF content every day. So hopefully you're, you're a little bit enlightened on what's gonna be happening. Hope I think this uh, Immortal Victor dungeon would be for mid-game to end-game players. It's really difficult for new players to grasp the damage on this. It's gonna be difficult. So at the moment, if I've uh, put another Mad Tea Party set there, I'm gonna be giving you an update on how I did already. But I feel like I can reach 200 million damage with that alone and then like just waking up my characters and increasing the sp cards on my special cards so i think that's gonna be the plan so let's see Yo. let's oh see see another red another red red <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh man <laughs> the luck continues the luck continues wow I've completed this set already. This is the, this is the, I think the, which, which one is this? See, uh, yeah, I completed that already. <laughs> this is the, I think this is the penetration card again, I think, yeah. Oh, I completed that one now. So nice. So that's complete, another fest complete. But I'm not, I'm not really... Uh, that's not really my focus. My focus now is the Kaya set. I just want like two sets of Kaya set and maybe Yeah, two sets of Kaya set would be nice because I already have three sets of Ryugo And maybe one Mad Tea Party would be nice as well So hopefully you understood my uh, what I did there. So Takuma I think is underrated. Thank you for like uh, I've, I've read reddits that Takuma is really legit in this dungeon so I just like what the heck I just like tried it and then you see it's 130 million from the initial 100 million that I like 100 and 120 million that I got without Takuma just imagine an, just imagine that plus 10 million with him around just to increase uh, PG gain maybe I'll use Yuri cards as well in the long run I'm gonna be working that one out but the problem is I don't have cards for that but we'll see so I was lucky enough to get that so I need to sort out who am I gonna be picking so I'm just gonna pick two Kaya set 
maybe I'm gonna get the full uh, two pulls maybe get three sets I just wish I get like two sets my second set of Kaya please I'll be happy I already completed the other one very nice so hopefully you're like liking the video and you got a brief overview on what's going on I think Takuma really is underrated in this dungeon he's really really good because the PG gain he gets 2% everybody on his team gets 2% every attack just imagine oh wow another red <laughs> come on okay okay Okay, the Ash card and Alice Super. I don't have her Alice, so that's good. So I just need to adjust my uh, my cards. I need to upgrade my special cards, my super cards. Gonit's 3PG, Gintoki's 3PG, Katsura's 3PG. There's a lot of things to uh, like fix. And then I need to upgrade one Mati Party. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I was talk talking too much. I didn't notice that I got another shiny fest like who's this what's this what's this oh <laughs> net marble thank you i think that's my second kaya set yes that's my second kaya set thank you net marble thank you very much for that thank you <laughs> oh my luck is not stopping hopefully it doesn't stop like forever maybe oh let's summon the five star card that I got so it's not guaranteed uh, fest but just a five star card hopefully I get a five star fest card here come on Ooh, <laughs> another one bro bro oh yes yes if I get like two more Nova sets I'll get a fourth fourth Nova set that's crazy so see I got I got three and three so oh man I got one more so one more one more one more one more and then I'll get like four sets of Nova set uh, no no Kaya set so I think I think that's that for this video so that's the brief overview it's my first time posting this one so I think I got 136 million damage that's quite good for my second run of this uh, one using Takuma so i hope you guys like this video like and subscribe i'm just fixing my uh, cards here i'm not gonna be summoning anymore because i don't have cards anymore so again guys like and subscribe if you like this video i've seen a lot of people 70 percent of you has have not subscribed yet so just please please guys like if you're watching and in your, if you're enjoying my content just hit that subscribe button that would really help me a lot okay that's that would be that would be inspiring me to post more content for you guys so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Again, this is 300 Gaming and I'm out. Peace.